want to invite each of you to this year's 29th annual Winning Women Warriors Conference. We're getting that camouflage out with any accentuating color that you want to accentuate your wardrobe with, but we're warring in the spirit this year. And our theme is the best defense is a good offense coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 7 in the NLT version. You don't want to miss this powerful move of God. We have a best dressed camouflage contest. We have um, a dynamic speaker coming all the way from Boston, Massachusetts in the person of Bishop Gwendolyn Weeks, a powerful and anointed woman of God. You don't want to miss the word that's going to come into this house. We invite each of you to join us. This is November the 1st, the 2nd, and the 3rd. Now, the first will be at our Conway location. The service will begin at 7 p.m. And on Saturday, don't miss the scholarship brunch and tea. Our guest speaker will be speaking there as well at our North Little Rock location. Tickets are only $10. Call the church for more information. We want to see you in the place because there's going to be a mighty, mighty move of God at this year's 29th Annual Winning Women Warriors Conference. Now, we're going to climax this conference off on Sunday evening. Our Sunday morning worship will be at both locations with yours truly. And we want to hear, um, have you here right in the place with us at both locations. But on Sunday night, you don't want to miss a slew of anointed ministers of the Word of God in song. We have a free concert here at 5 p.m. at our North Little Rock location. And this night of worship and song will be a blessing to your soul, I guarantee it. Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Welcome back to the Acts Ministry podcast, as we're talking about the miracle of God's Word, the miraculous power of God's Word. And we're in this season, season of pursuit and if just one more day left in the month of October, as we're getting down to the nitty-gritty, we're getting down to uh, the year 2020. And brothers and sisters, we said something significant was going to happen before this year is over. And I'm telling you that you can have what you say. You can have what you say. But you got to say. you got to open your mouth. you got to declare it. And when you say what you really believe or release that faith, then we'll see what, what happened in Genesis chapter 1. We'll start seeing that happen in our own lives. So we're talking about Genesis chapter 1. And we got to the part where the Bible says that God began to speak in verse 11. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. It was so. God said it, it was so. God declared it, it was so. That's important. That's very, very important. God said it, God declared it, and boom, there it was. There it was. Grass came. Herbs came. Fruit trees. Now, when it said fruit trees after his kind, and you can only imagine... All of the hundreds and thousands of different types of fruit, God spoke it. And each one after its kind came forth. And it brings forth after its kind. So that's power there. The power of God's word. Now, this same power is working in us. It's working in us. Whether we want to accept it or not, the Bible let us know that Unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that is at work in us. It's already there. It's already there. The exceeding and abundant is already within us. 
So if we open our mouths, and that's what we're talking about, the miracle working power of God. He began to speak. It came forth, and everything began to blossom and, and bloom and come forth. The Bible says in verse 12, And the earth brought forth grass and herb, yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. God said it was good. It was good. And if God said it was good, brothers and sisters, it was good. And the evening and the morning was the third day. That's the third day of creation, the first three days. And, and then in verse 14, we see the power of God, God's word again. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs, for season, for days and years. Now, so now God began to create uh, sun, moon, stars. And not just that, he says they're going to be for signs, for seasons. In other words, they're going to mark what season it is. They're going to mark uh, different signs, uh, especially the coming of the Lord. Uh, the stars are there to even point the wise men to Jesus Christ. Uh, the miraculousness of God's word. And all of it was programmed in. Programmed in. God doesn't have to come back and, and redo the sun every so often. He don't, he don't perform maintenance on the sun or maintenance on the moon. God's word, once it is spoken, it is spoken and it holds the universe in place. That's the power of his word. So, so the Bible says, and God made two greater lights, two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And he made the stars also. So God, two lights, one we know is the moon, other we know is the sun. One to rule over the day and one to rule over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw it was good. And this is the fourth day of creation, the miracle working power of God's word. Just spoke it. Just spoke it. Now, what, what has happened is that we've gotten into the place where Adam was, where we want to live by the sweat of our brow. And I said to you on yesterday that we don't want to speak to the mountain. We want to climb it. And we sing about that. Give me strength. Lord, don't move the mountain, but climb it. Well, he told us to speak to it. It'll move. He's told us to speak to it. Look at that mountain and speak to it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go ahead. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. There's a mountain right there before you. There's that mountain, that mountain right there. That mountain that's in your life. And let me tell you, mountains impede progress. Progress. If you ever seen them trying to do a highway and, and they can't just keep going on with the highway, they got to they have to tunnel through the mountain. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. Not to use dynamite and explosive and try to dig through the mountain and, and so forth. It impedes progress. The mountain does. And, 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 and instead of climbing it, God told us to speak to it. Speak to that thing. So you got a mountain right now in your life. Whether that mountain is in your relationship, in your marriage, whether it is in your finances, whether it's in the relationship with your children, your job, whatever. Speak to it. Tell it in the name of Jesus. Look at it. Come on, look at it and say to it in the name of Jesus. According to what Jesus said, according to his word, I speak to you to move, to get out of my way. And I'm going to continue to speak to you according to Mark 11 and 23. Because Jesus said, verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto the mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast in the sea, 
shall not doubt in his heart. So maybe I'm doubting in my heart. I'm going to get that fixed. Who don't, well, you can't doubt in your heart. If it ain't moving, maybe I got doubts in my heart. Who doubt in his heart. So if I got to do that, I got to speak to my heart. I got to make sure my heart is right. I got to use the word of God to get my heart right. So I can speak to the mountain. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thy removed, be thy cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe. So I got to make sure no doubt in my heart. I got to make sure I believe. I got to make sure that I cross all the T's, dot all the I's. The word of God has said it. And then I have to do it with an understanding that God cannot lie. That his word will not return unto him void. So if he said it, he put it in his word, then I can use it. And I can speak to the mountain. Come on, speak to the mountain of sickness. Be thy removed sickness in my life in the name of Jesus. Speak to the mountain of of relationships, the things that are blocking and hindering the relationship. Tell it in the name of Jesus, you stubborn mountain that is separating families. We speak to you in the name of Jesus. Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. Talk to talk to the mountain of debt, the mountain of debt that preoccupies you to keep you from doing what God wants you to do. Debt, we speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be thou removed and we will not doubt in our heart. And we will believe because you said it and you said your word will not return unto you void. And we speak to that mountain and we tell it to be gone. We got work to do in the name of Jesus. We got work to do in the name of Jesus. Release that. Release that. Release that. Look at the mountain shaking now. Look at it trembling right now. Now you got to be consistent with it. You got to be consistent, 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 consistent. You got to be consistent. You got to be consistent. If you got to speak and, and, and watch rocks fall, you got to keep on speaking. When you see one rock fall, don't get so happy that you stop. You got to keep on speaking. Keep on speaking to that mountain is leveled to the ground. Hallelujah. And he says, and he says, and the evening and the morning was the fourth day, fourth day of creation. Day, day number five says this. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that hath life and fowls that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. Now we saw God, the omniscient God. The God who knows everything. We saw him speak to darkness, which is the absence of light. And we saw him command, command the absence of light to produce light. That is just, I mean, it'll take you a while to just think about that. It'll take you a while to think about that and to think about how impossible man would say it would be. The impossibility when you look at it from a, a human standpoint, but not from a not from the word, not from the power of God's word. But now he, he makes water. He tells the water to bring forth living creatures. Now we know even with us and, and with creatures how much the body is made of water. Water, water. He tells the water. Let me read it to you again. In verse 20 of Genesis chapter 1. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that has life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. So God creates, he creates the fish, the, the, the whales, and, and all of this, he creates it from the water and the birds, the birds, he creates them from the water. Verse 21 is in God created the great whales, every living creature that moveth, which the water bring forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. God, God, God spoke. God spoke. And when he spoke to the water and told it what to do, it brought forth thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of different living creatures, different species. God declared it. God spoke it. And it was so. It was so. Now you tell me the, the, the force that is, the force of his word. The force of his word. But nothing, 
is as miraculous as man can. Nothing. What God has placed within us in the human body, nothing in creation, not the stars, not the galaxies, not the universes, universe compares to what God did when he formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into him. So all, all, everything else, understand this, everything else are crumbs of miracles. We are the masterpiece. So now he creates all of this. And the Bible says in verse 22, And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the waters and the sea, and let the fowls multiply in the earth. Evening and the morning were the fifth day. We're going to take up with day six on the last day of this month. And that's tomorrow, October 31st. So we will, be com- we will have completed all of October, and the grace of God has sustained us and brought us to this point in 2019. God bless you. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday school begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. At our Conway location, Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday school begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. We want to invite each of you to this year's 29th Annual Winning Women Warriors Conference. We're getting that camouflage out with any accentuating color that you want to accentuate your wardrobe with, but we're warring in the spirit this year. And our theme is the best defense is a good offense coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 7 in the NLT version. You don't want to miss this powerful move of God. We have a best dress camouflage contest. We have um, a dynamic speaker coming all the way from Boston, Massachusetts in the person of Bishop Gwendolyn Weeks a powerful and anointed woman of God. You don't want to miss the word that's going to come into this house. We invite each of you to join us. This is November the 1st, the 2nd, and the 3rd. Now the 1st will be at our Conway location. The service will begin at 7 p.m. And on Saturday, don't miss the scholarship brunch and tea. Our guest speaker will be speaking there as well at our North Little Rock location. Tickets are only $10. Call the church for more information. We want to see you in the place because there's going to be a mighty, mighty move of God at this year's 29th Annual Winning Women Warriors Conference. Now, we're going to climax this conference off on Sunday evening. Our Sunday morning worship will be at both locations with yours truly. And we want to hear, um, have you here right in the place with us at both locations. But on Sunday night, You don't want to miss a slew of anointed ministers of the Word of God in song. We have a free concert here at 5 p.m. at our North Little Rock location. And this night of worship and song will be a blessing to your soul, I guarantee it. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Axe Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing 
to the community, to communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. And I'm Jacqueline Stewart. We want to invite you to our program. I am the pastor of Axe Ministries, located in Conway, Arkansas, and also in North Little Rock, Arkansas. So join us every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on VTN for our Words to Empower television broadcast. Oh, I disrespected my parents at, at home, sir. I've been more of a leader than a follower. I've been trying to help others to stay on the right track. Doing good is not really as hard as you think it is. The Arkansas Youth Challenge is enrolling for young people 16 to 18 years old. If you're having trouble in school or at home, call 1-800-814-8453. We support Second Chances.